broke away from the chain. Little Jenny flew away. I am forced. I will fuck you up. I will break your face. Crickets on drugs. Crickets are taking a lot of speed. It's like. Hieroglyphics down my spine. Seven windows open wide. I'm the monster that's inside. Dig it deep. Watch me die. Look, Noah. You're a great artist and you have something unique and you have a unique voice and tone and you're able to bring out energy that a lot of art other artists can't do. So I'm really appreciative and uh, I commend you on that. Love yourself and roll the dice. Love yourself and roll the dice. Love yourself and roll the dice. If you don't, you become my poacher ghost. Ah. What up, y'all? We... <laughs> no, you keep going. Uh, I couldn't because I had a burp in my boat. Oh, you're fucked. Sorry guys, we're Jungle Beat, Australia's plug to the weirdest, worst, best potato reviews in the country. And also the best plugs to the best butt plugs. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, we're doing another Unknown Artist review segment. However, that includes the first three tracks of Noah James's album, Granny Said. Who is Noah James? Noah James is a California rapper who we've reviewed these last two tracks. Boo's Hungry! And... Slenderman. Both enjoyed quite a lot. Yeah, one's a big banger, and then one's a really dark, art, dark moody. and arty, moody track. Yeah. yeah, and both of them are great. Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed both of them. Same. That was real weird, man. What? Same. <laughs> weird. How's it weird, man? Just, Would you rather I said it like this, like oh, sorry? <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> if we um. <laughs> So, because, uh, sorry, I got just stuck in the, in the fourth dimension, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Noah James' management um, supports us on Patreon. That means mm -hmm. we review Noah's music. And because of this, we're, we're going to review the first three tracks of his album. And we're going to start with Granny Set, intro, into chapters 11th and 28th. Do you have anything mm -hmm. else you want to say about Noah James? Uh, he's dope as fuck. You're gonna want to watch this one. And I'm, I'm just, I'm honestly excited to see if we're gonna get more elements of what we've heard already, or different things like Slytherin surprises. We're gonna get surprised more with each track. We're just gonna get elements of the same. I just wanna see what he's got to offer, man. Now, to give background, Granny, it's called Granny saying his grandmother recently passed. Um, I believe. I hope that's not wrong. Jesus, I really hope that's not wrong. Yeah. Uh -huh. Chapter 11, uh, he's seeing the flowers, he's giving the powers, blessing the Willie Dale and Brizel Allen, manifesting the win. I remember when teachers are hitting him, no one's defending him. Moving at love speed and not looking back, woo, not looking back, woo, not looking back, woo. Uh, my home, my place. Help me remove my hate. Show me love, restore my faith. More like 20 piece low nuggets. More like 20 piece low nuggets. Oh. I was on some bullshit. Oh. I had to do something. Switch it up, yeah. Okay, definitely getting vibes from the tracks. Slytherin. Slytherin. Dark, moody, grimy essence. Mm. But not a lot of drums in that track. It's more the keys that drive that track. Right. Bang. Sorry, what was that? Bang. Okay, cool. Um, I love the sound effects in this track too. Like that, it has got that creep and it's with like the, it's like crickets, but like real sort of like like little chirpy. Like crickets chirpy on drugs, sound. man. Crickets on drugs. The crickets are taking a lot of speed. It's like <laughs> this, <laughs> and this. Yeah, some real fucking cool sounds all over this track. Although, I've got to say, I, don't, I didn't really enjoy Noah's vocal display on here as much as the other two tracks I've heard. I didn't mind it, man. I thought it, was, I thought it matched it well. It had this grimy, kind of laid-back, lazy, effortless tone to it. But I understand what you're saying, because the other ones have more punch. Mm. So maybe, maybe there's something that I'm missing here that you've done in a way for a reason, but... No, it's just a your, different perspective. Your vocal display I wasn't a huge fan of on this track compared to the production. The production really was the highlight for me on this track here. Nick, love Monster. Love Monster. Oh, man, how'd you, you wrote a song about me, Dick. Thank you.
That's yes! what you wanted, bro. And that's what we got. That's going to be one of the best tracks he's done. Even though I've only had four tracks. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's blending genres amazingly. The contrast was really well done. It's hard to do that because it's like, ah, oh, does this work? Does this blend hard. work? But I think it did. Some people might disagree, but I think it blended well. Uh, it was a JT, so the feature was. Fucking not Justin Timberlake, of course, but uh, fuck, man, he did fuck his thing. Off. Taking shit in the woods. Oh, I know, fuck, man. Could JT's album be the worst of the year, as in Justin Timberlake? Yes, it's the Should worst album. We do album the worst of the albums. Year. Of, oh, that was last year, right, though? Fuck it, we'll put it on this year's list. Let's do it, though. <laughs> Sorry. We'll, talk, we'll go back to Noah. The guitar solo at the end was dope. Um, the energy was there, the rawness was there. Man, just the way that you built that track up with that guitar and with the feature to go into just. Those fucking keys and your vocals, the raspers, you got that booze hungry energy again on there. And fuck, man, the production once again, your team, these producers are doing their thing, man. It's absolutely fucking amazing. Just the blending of both has just worked so well. You carry this track fucking amazingly. And I was just held attentive and enjoying every single fucking way of the way through it, man. Fucking. Well said. Ah! That shit was dope, man. That shit was dope. Took me on a journey. Next two tracks, Slither and a Bruce Hunger review. You've read both of them, so you can go check it out. Make sure to check them out. They hopefully be they're, there. They're honestly, they're very dope tracks. Both really good tracks. Um, Anyways, we just want to recap those tracks. Yeah. And as you can tell, they're both dope as fuck. This is track six. Okay. Okay. Like someone's banging against the flag for a while. That's an echoing effect. That's a really interesting example. You can see the direction that he's con it's consistent. His tone's consistent. The con the co the cohesiveness is there. Sonically, tonality-wise, mm -hmm. which I really enjoy, and Hugh Augustine really uh, blended well with Noah there. You can't see him, wipe the slate clean Life's a great thing, I got demons You got demons Oh, oh. don't do that Yeah, yeah, that's fucking Yeah, yeah. I could have hit it harder I see Lucifer and I start to squeeze it I see Lucifer and I start to squeeze it it's a strong way to end fairly average track at the beginning. Yeah, definitely. But when he brought in that instrumental, oh, the do 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 do. just sound like some guitar. I really wished he hit it harder though. He picked it up towards yeah, the end, but I really wish that beat hit harder. I wish the bass was louder and the drums were softer. Yeah, because the drums were like real metallically loud, but then the bass was just like only like sort of omnipresent. But for the rest of the track, it, quite average for me. Didn't really engage me as much. Yeah. That raw energy that we come to love. And the feature was really average too. Yeah. I just wasn't really feeling that feature too much. But um, but up until that beat switch and at the end there, fuck man, you went hard at the end there. Like, this is a cool, real cool fucking switch. Oh, up. and because we really like the first three tracks, we're going to continue on and review the rest of the album. So you welcome Noah James and, and, and crew. Yeah, fuck it, man. You're dope. So we're going to do this whole shit. But only if we like the album though. If we don't like the album, we stop. Like this case. my head, show me the way to go. They put my mama in that case, my pop on the boat. I was created for madness. Oh. Magic and pain, watch me flow, watch me flow. Even the apples of weed were known to be the show. Never ever play the pistol, never ever play the pistol. Every day I practice the cold, every day I practice the cold, every day I practice the cold. Manifest, manifest, be the best. Early Wayne, Eddie Crash, Bruce Wayne, Early Death, give it now.
Apologize in advance for being a bit spacey. I'm you like, should, motherfucker. The tiredness has hit me. The production there was once again really fucking cool. Love those things. Yeah. And even the background there. It had again. It had this energy that just pierces through your fucking soul. Existence. I love that. Uh. I want to ride all day. I want to smoke all day. Woo! Damn. He's done. Fuck. Put him in the oven. I was just vibing. Take him out, out the oven. I was He's just done. vibing, man. He's cooked. Uh, again, really great contrast between that aggressive energy of Noah, which wasn't actually too aggressive here. Yeah. And Cleo, aka Hippie Trap Goddess. Beautiful feature. Yeah. She did her thing on there. Really like pretty vocals. Production was nice again. I like the just the effect of the dun dun. I really thought he rode that track really well. I obviously zoned the fuck out. But I uh, really enjoyed that one, man. We respect you, motherfucker. And I'm more aware and awake. And let's get back into this bitch. We've refreshed it, so we... We in the... We fucking... That was a terrible intro. Uh, <laughs> so I just, water, baby. I... Yes, I'm water, baby. I'm water, baby. Actually, man, man, where I'm from, I'm a caliber. Where is he from? National Avalanche. He's met with the rockets cuz you fill in the life. But you can't hide from bad times. Life can grind. Life can real. The devil be hating. The devil be hating. The electric guitar? Yeah, it's guitar. Kind of reminds me of Tony Yayo a little bit. His voice? Or the production? Or when he, when he overlaps on the hook. I'm a legend where I'm like here. The love is a weapon. I'm a Zulu spirit with the power to suck. I like that analogy of being like water in front of the devil because like the the devil kind of to me represents all the chaos of life or well, that sounds like he's trying to represent and the water just moves you just move around it you always find a way to maneuver around the water represents life in a way if you make Jenkins exactly life just finds a way to move around man exactly so I like that little symbolism right there yeah and like so the guitar in there and the, the type of drums and the way you pitch your vocals, it gives me like really early 2000s sort of hip hop around the 50 Cent era. I find like that sort of beat yeah, right, right, and the way right. you go about it is that yeah. sort of era of hip hop. So I don't know if you intended that, but you nailed it to a T if that's what you want to do. And the hook still continues on that same type of tonality that mm -hmm. the rest of the album has kind of approached that, that deep, uh, how do you describe his voice? I can't think of a word. Hmm. I'm glad there's two of us here. But, uh, <laughs> hey, but it's, uh, it's a beautiful voice. And uh, if that voice had a way that I could jump inside it and use it as a trampoline while eating some fucking, I don't know, maybe ice cream sandwiches. I don't know what Jack call that in America. We call them Maxi Bonds. And uh, I can enjoy being in your voice box and jump up and down. Maxi Bonds is shit. I'm glad I slept.
the first time we're hearing Noah tap into singing? A, yeah, subtler singing vocals. I think it can work here. I do like a lot of the message of this track, but it's probably the track that I've been bored the most of so far. I found the beat really simple. Like it was kind of like a lot of drums. Uh, I don't know if those were strings or synths that were kind of like throughout that thing as well. But I think the feature was really good. Yeah, agreed. But I feel like his energy was so different to Noah. Like Noah came in with this more somber and like a bit more, a little bit more serious in a way of tackling the song. And then the, 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 cause the feature, the feature was so different to him. I don't think he kind of matched Noah's energy. His name's Satire and it, Satire, or I think almost brought like a, and watch more upbeat kind of yeah. quicker flow. I feel like either, I feel like to make this song a bit more interesting to me, that like either Noah had to match his energy or the feature had to, what was the name, sorry? Satire. Satire. I feel like Satire had to uh, bring back to Noah's energy. I feel like it was it was just a track that like start to finish didn't really sit well with me at the end product. I feel like even the beat could be added a bit more or just, just working around it. I don't know, I just, I just wasn't feeling this one too much as much as you're saying shit on here. Well, for me, I think that beat, beat uh, was a great selection for the tonality and the singing that you were providing in that track. I feel like it matched well. You know, I kind of had this eerie kind of moonlight vibe that you, were, that you may have been going for. Beautiful There's one line moonlight. I did want to address. You said you had to get your dreams killed to realize your vision. You said something along those lines. I want to get more... I'd love to get more information on that. Like, like, that's a dope line. I didn't like pick what that happened up. there. You know, I'm curious. More stuff in here, like things you like mentally, like you've been through, and like you think. Again, I don't know if this feature matches again. I mean, it works for this part. <laughs> she left the, the time and the, the exact time of day. That's crazy. That's so cute. It's it's those little things, you know, that you miss about your, your grandparents and your family when they're gone. It's like, true, man. I'm really glad he put that message in because it's so seemingly meaningless, but it's so meaningful. That's 100%, man. It's just so many of the little things which you just miss so much. Like other people just wouldn't get because they'd have different things and little things. that they have. Sorry, different things, but little <laughs> things. That... I'm a fucking mess, man. Um, Someone support us on Patreon so we can... <laughs> help support this man's well-being as someone who doesn't smoke whenever i hear a smoker anthem type of track i'm never gonna like it as much as another person would because i understand that when you live that sort of life like it's a huge part of you so those sort of tracks are just needed in a sense so i kind of get it but uh it's not for me i wasn't i wasn't huge on the hook i liked your verse i especially like the feature but once again very similar to the last track the energy of you and the feature are so different that I just don't think it works in the very end. I hope we're closing out this album with this type of sound and we're not going back to the hype stuff. Um, I, think, oh, yeah. I think that would make it a lot more cohesive. And I wasn't a fan of the hook either. Um, mm. I could do with that. I think it repeated too many times. And again, we're the same. We don't smoke up exactly. like this. So any sort of smoke tracks, we ain't going to appreciate it or understand it as much as other people, like I said, that live that. But, um, but that, I did love that beat. That beat was so, once again, had an eeriness to it. Really beautifully done production for that track. But as a total, didn't dig it. Granny said. Let's see. I hope he touches on some of the topics here of mm. his grand. Same, man. I got that fire. Fire in my lungs. My spirit. My spirit's very strong. If I smell to be Straight up. 
No. Don't do it. That wasn't a good track. No, no, no. I know this is probably a track that might mean the most to you, and you did it in this way because that's how you want to represent the memories. Like, everything that you said you are in this track is things, I guess, that you've held close to you from, from your granny, and it's a huge part of who you are. So I'm going to keep that respect there. But I, the way that you went about this track, it wasn't enjoyable to me. The way that you used your vocals with the auditune effect, I just don't think it shines with you. I feel like that you could have represented this track in a different light. Uh, I do like the beat though. The light around the beat really holds close to what you're saying, but the delivery throughout this whole track uh, was very, to me, with the use of it, kind of had the same monotonous sort of flow. And every time you hit certain notes, I'd cringe a little bit inside. I just, I just don't really like the way you went about this track as beautiful as it can be. It's very well said. And I'd like to add one more thing. I don't, I'm listening. I'm trying to listen and I, and I hear little bits in here of how you're referencing your granny and like, you know, little, little parts of you are because of her and what she said. But it just it still seems like we're on that superficial layer. Mm. I'm not really getting it. I'm not really understanding the influence and effect she had on you. Like, tell me some stories through, through the lyrics. T give me a little lower down, lower down on those layers. Like, peel back that onion. I'm not, I'm not really feeling anything. So where do we go from now? I love, he's experimenting, man. Actually, I was about to say that. Yeah, but I'm sure I'll do it here again. Yeah, we love how you're experimenting, man. It's all about growth. Try new shit. It's cool. If we don't like it, others will. I told the devil. Well, they won't. Not today. You gotta go away. I have my time to play. Take a couple more. Just like you today. Resurrecting you today. Express the age of June Grey. Take your time. Love yourself. You gotta shine. Just an, it's an odd transition from what we just heard to this. I think what I'm hearing so far that what he could have done is separated the first half of the album could be one album. The second half could be another and almost tap into this different type of tone and er ex experimental sound. And the first half could be this more aggressive, abrasive, bangerish album. I reckon that might have been something interesting to do. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's really awesome to see experimenting so much, especially as a young artist. And the thing is, that like, we're not going to like a lot, but of course, there are going to be others out there that are going to show love for this. And that's what it's all about. It's figuring out what you want to do. Like, we're just giving you our thoughts, man. And I think once again here, like the beat was okay to me. I like the... That the is, it's kind of like funky, yeah. like, like electronic funk. The keys on there were real nice, but I just don't... I've, I'm now realizing that the tracks I'm liking more for you are when you have that real high energy because that's when I hear your passion more. And I feel like throughout the, the rest of this album, like this low, this low sort of rap and like this, I, I don't really like from you as much. Like with this type of beat, this beat had energy to it. I would have loved to see you with some energy, you know, like when you do like that, like that beat again with that sort of energy, I think would match really beautifully. And even if you played around with that lower voice and that higher voice on it, you could build around that and fuck around a bit. But this whole loneliness throughout this whole track had me bored, man. I'm sorry. That's fair enough. But keep that shitty energy to yourself. Are we really gonna finish like this? Keep that shitty energy to yourself. I'm cool with it. Keep that shitty energy to yourself. That was a much better way to end. He didn't end on a soft note, he ended on the hard hitting note he started with. I kind of liked what I said on the previous track which works here. You use your lower vocals and your higher vocals quite well on this track. Like you had that high energy octane and then that, it was, 
It was really good. I mean, and once again, this production is very, very like sort of late 2000s or mid 2000s as well. So a lot of the production on here, it sounds like you're inspired from that sort of era of hip hop. And um, yeah, I kind of I kind of dig this track. I think it's like a really good track to perform live as well. This, this track just screams live energy to me. And um, yeah. To summarize the album for me, uh, I already said what I said about splitting the album. I still agree with that. Mm. Um, the first half of the album really is the strong point for me. And then the last half is a bit lackluster and a bit more lifeless. I would like you to, I'd love to see more of you getting a bit more personal with the listener um, if you feel comfortable. But beyond that, look, Noah, you're a great artist and you have something unique and you have a unique voice and tone and you're able to bring out energy that a lot of art, other artists can't do. So I'm really appreciative and uh, I commend you on that. I got to agree with him. Like, we've shown love purely because we really fuck with what you're doing, man. And I, I agree. I love the first half of this album a lot more than the last half. It really slumbered to me. But I am mad, man. You're a new artist. You're trying so many new things. There's probably people out there that are going to fuck with that last half as well. But good way to end it. What's that? What's that track that I really fucked with? Love Monster. Man. Oh. I am the moon. I am the star. I am... Love Monster, the way that you go back from that hook to that hype, to that energy man and that production, like that to me is the best track you've made that I've heard. And if you could maybe create something around that sort of that sort of production and energy man, oh, bruh. Like that just made me so happy, man, that track. And I'm going to be going on that track a lot. I, I can't see myself going back to this album in total because I did enjoy a lot of parts of it, but there's a lot of tracks in here that I'll go back to I got you to thank for that, so. Noah James, yeah, thank man. you for being a Patreon and like supporting us. That's why we do this. You, you, you supported us for months and so we are trying to do exactly, the same. Exactly, man. Uh, thank you so much for putting out this body of work. Uh, actually, one more thing I did want to say, maybe next time, don't be too afraid to cut tracks from an album, man. Mm. Like even though if they mean something to you and mean something to other people, I, I purely believe that sometimes less is more, man. Agreed. That's just how I feel. But uh, thank you, man. Thank you for being a Patreon. We really enjoy reviewing your music and we can't wait to see further on the career how your shit goes, man. You and your crew. If you guys want us to review your music, head on to our Patreon links in the description. We're Jungle Beats. We're Jungle Beats. Thank you, Jungle Peeps. See ya. Blah, 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 blah. Feel the pain, let it flow. Feel the pain, let it show. Feel the pain, let it go. Feel the pain, watch it grow. Feel the pain, watch it glow. If you feel the pain, that should let you know you're alive.